Hi, my name is Peter Rousseau and I'm about to show you a, around our math course, the online course that we're going to use in Alroy Academy to help you succeed in maths. Okay, so what you do is once you sign up, you'll get an uh, email to confirm and you just come to Canvas by following the links in the email, log in and you are good to go. So once you log in, you'll be taken to the main screen. On the main screen, don't worry much about it, but under courses, you can go to your mathematics course. Now, I'm only going to highlight the main features in this, and that is the lessons, the exercises, as well as uh, the online support. Okay. First of all, you'll see this is the home page. You'll click on modules. Under modules, you'll notice that the course is divided up into the topics. The topics are also highlighted whether they appear in your paper one during your exam or in paper two. Now, once you click on such a module, it will open up and you'll notice there that all of the content that will be assessed is under this topic. Now, you'll notice under here we have, for example, linear functions and quadratic functions. Now, these are not grade 12 topics. They're indeed grade 10 and 11 topics. That's why, because they are also assessed during your final exam and therefore you must revise them, which means this is a complete course to help you prepare for your final exam. If we click on anything here, let me first show you about the lessons. How do I actually learn using this program? Clicking on converting between quadratic formats will take me to a page. And on that page, you'll notice we have a video lesson. Clicking on the video lesson, will start a video demonstration of what you are about to learn. During this demonstration, you can enlarge it so that it fills your whole screen and you can watch it until you feel confident, but you'll notice it's only a short 10 minute video. Most of the videos are between three and 15 minutes long. If you feel you know what this is all about, you just briefly want to summarize uh, or have a brief look at everything, you can just look at the text at the bottom. Usually the text is simply a summary of what's in the video and is much shorter. It's almost like a textbook, just with videos in between the pages. Okay, So I do think it's a bit simpler and sometimes even a bit more colorful. When you click on next, it will take you to the next part of this course. The next part in this specific sequence is actually some exercises. If it asks you to log into My Open Math, simply log in. That's where the questions are at. And here, here you notice we have a set of 16 questions. It's like 16 homework questions. But there are three main cool twists to this type of homework. The first cool twist is that once you've answered the question and you're satisfied and you submit it, you get immediate feedback on whether you're right or wrong. You don't have to wait until tomorrow in class before you know whether you're correct or not. The next cool thing is that if you are struggling and you or have no idea what you're doing, there's a video. Most of the questions have a video right there, so you can click on the video and there would be an example video on how to do one of these questions as an example. You should feel quite confident to answer this question after that. If you've had the first question wrong, you can always reattempt it. But remember, every time you reattempt the question, it will be a different question. Okay, so basically it would be the same, but most of the values would be different. The cool thing about that is that every question you can practice hundreds of time each time getting a different question. That means you can practice until you feel 100% confident that you know how to do this. The questions are also set up in such a way that it increases in difficulty as you go along. So for example, in the beginning, you might be given step-by-step -step instructions, while later on you'll have to do the steps in sequence on your own. Okay, so let's say you still don't feel comfortable about this question. You just see, don't seem to get it right. Unfortunately, you have to get 100% in every homework assignment in order to progress to some of the other topics that follow on this assignment. Now, that doesn't mean you can't go on with the work. Most of the things will still be available to you, except those things that actually build on this specific topic. If you are struggling, Continue with another topic, but before you do, 
post a question either to a group by starting a discussion when you click on discussion page it will take you to a part where you can actually go and create a discussion online start a discussion give it a heading need help with equations and then type your question I don't know how to solve and now you want to write a math expression problem is you can't type maths but there is a cool feature here which says insert a math equation where well, you can type maths so we want to type x squared which is x with a subscript to minus 1 equal to 0 when you insert that there you go you can even insert graphs okay please help Once you post this question, everyone will be able to see, including your instructors or teachers and your classmates. If you don't feel to expose yourself to everyone like this, you are more an introvert than an extrovert, wanting help from everyone. You may send people in your class or your teacher a question directly. Click on people and it will take you to the people that signed up in this class as well as the teachers that's offering support. Click on the teacher or the student for that matter and on this little speech bubble. When you contact someone by sending them a message, please help with equations. You won't necessarily be able to write cool math expressions, uh, but you can schedule a meeting with them. Uh, what that simply means is that they will meet you online and either do an online lesson where you can actually see them or see a whiteboard on which the two of you can write and interact together and have an online one-on-one -on -one lesson. Well, I hope you can see that this is an absolute awesome tool to help you with your maths and physics. You can use the course either to supplement your studies while you're doing matric maths at some school or you can even upgrade your maths and science marks if you've already done it in previous years. You take the course online. We are registered as a Sakai service provider which means we can offer you matric subjects. You can even upgrade from math literacy to mathematics or upgrade your math marks of previous years in order to give you a better chance to be accepted at university. For more information, check out our website and I hope to hear from you soon. Cheers.